Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial to help you understand how to predict the product for an E1 reaction happening with a cyclohexane. So one big thing you have to realize is that there is a huge difference in the way an E1 reaction has to be versus an E2. In an E2 reaction, your X and H group must be located axially. In an E1 reaction, that is not the case. So as you can see, I've given you here a cyclohexane where your chlorine is equatorially located. And that's completely fine. You will still see a reaction uh, in this particular case. So just as a matter of course, I think it's a good idea to make sure you're always establishing where your alpha and beta carbons are. So alpha has the chlorine attached directly to it. All adjacent carbons are beta. So beta carbon, beta carbon, beta carbon. Remember now, when we're trying to consider what the major product will be, we're always looking for the most stable alkene. So if we use this as the active beta carbon and this hydrogen is lost, we will get out a more substituted alkene than any other case. So in this case, this is the beta carbon that we'll see in order to predict the major product, which is this one here. And that's how you predict a product for an E1 reaction with a cyclohexane.